Hello everyone, my name is Danny. This review is for the movie called Honest Thief. This is a 2020 film. It just came out in theaters October 16th here. And it is rated PG-13. It runs an hour and 40 minutes. And it stars Liam Neeson. It stars Kate Walsh. And it stars Jai Courtney. The description, wanting to lead an honest life. A notorious bank robber turns himself in only to be double-crossed by two ruthless FBI agents. I know this seems like a big number, but this only has 1,300 grades on IMDb, and it just came out in theaters, so people need to go watch this. My grade is pretty common to their grade online. That's from 1,300 people, you know, rounded out, but people need to go see this movie, okay? All right, this is Honest Thief. Well, welcome everyone to my 750th movie review on YouTube. Um, I have had a really great YouTube career. I've been gaining uh, subscribers lately, which is a nice feeling to get above 70, which I never thought I would do. I was stuck in the 60s for a long time, and I'll probably be stuck in the 70s for a long time. But uh I, if I had the potential to gain even 100 subscribers, I will count my YouTube journey as a success. Um, I have had a really great time making videos. I have had my Facebook page, Danny's Movies and Music, for a while now, and I have almost 200 followers on there. So um, I do do a lot of bonus content over there, like my Netflix reviews and stuff, which I don't do on YouTube. So if you'd like to go check that out, if you know anybody that likes movie reviews, um, have them come and check me out here on YouTube also. But I um, just want to say thank you. So uh, before we start talking about this movie, I just wanted to get that out of the way. So um, I like my milestones and I do keep track of them very well. So I do have notebooks and everything here from my last couple years keeping track of all kinds of things especially the movies i watch so just want to say thank you um honest thief i was able to go see this in theater in the imax i was one of two people and i didn't know the other person they were sitting down below me and funny story i don't get to do this very often but because i don't have weird experiences too often but the other person that was in the theater with me they left after about a half an hour. I don't know if they were bored, if they had something going on, but it kind of seemed weird that they left, and I kind of think it might have been because they were bored. But uh, it was nice sitting in the IMAX by myself, watching this movie. Um, I, was, I was looking forward to it. We're always looking forward to a Liam Neeson movie, right? And so I was happy to watch this. I was happy to watch what it had to offer. And... Um, I think the things that hurt it are repeating dialogue, which I get to say about movies a lot lately, and um, dullness of the conversation, especially when they get to the repeating dialogue, but just otherwise dull. Um, and the actors, like it seemed like they didn't have much to work off of because our worst guy in here, the villain of the movie, he's just a really eager to have money in his life kind of guy like who wouldn't want money if it came crawling across their path right so um you know like the measures that he goes to are brutal but still it's not very much of a bad guy so everybody else in this movie seems to want to do what liam neeson's character wants to do and let him turn himself in have things go cordial Everybody seems nice except this one guy. So it seems a little bit of a dull movie. And a little bit underwhelming to be honest. Um, not going to try and ruin anything else other than that. But that's kind of the breakdown of things. So if that's all you want to watch of this review. Then you know move on and go see the movie. Okay. But um, I would like to talk about the movie. Like and how it feels. You know. Um. Liam Neeson, we know that he's trying to turn himself in. Uh, this is what the movie's about. It's, it's in the previews, it's in the description online, everything, okay? 
the fact that he has motivation to turn himself in, what he's doing seems right, and he's taking like steps ahead, like he's thinking about, you know, oh, if this doesn't work out, if this doesn't work out, that's what makes the movie, really. And um, also this relationship that he has with a woman. And I'm not giving anything away there because that's in the previews. And so those are kind of his two driving forces, are being a professional, thinking ahead in case things don't work out, and his relationship with a woman. And both of those things really pan out kind of nicely, honestly. Uh, for the dullness of the movie that it is, um, those are the kind of two brighting, bright shining lights. So, um, I appreciate Liam Neeson, his action, his, you know, smart, his skills, everything that he has going on as an actor. Uh, do I think this is one of his best movies? No. Um, do I think that the storyline took much thought? No. Um, I'm thinking they probably shot this movie pretty quick, and they got some actors that we kind of know, and, um, you know, one kind of doesn't make it, and that's sad. But, um, you know, everything else in the movie isn't all that effective. So, um, I would say that underwhelming is the perfect word for this movie because you're expecting so much, and it's in theaters, it's a really great movie to go watch in theater, and then you experience the movie and what it has to do. Like, one of the main conversations is about this stupid dog. It just keeps coming back to the damn dog. And, like, it's like, we don't care. Like, that's not subject material. Let's like, just move on from the dog. And so, when it gets the girl involved, I'm not surprised. When it has, you know, partners arguing about what's right and wrong, I'm not too surprised. I mean, I've watched a million movies like this, and this is just another mediocre movie. It just has really good actors in it. So, it's above average. And so, that's why I'm going to give it a C+. Um, I think that that grade exemplifies to you that this is worth a watch. It's a Liam Neeson movie with other actors that you know, and it has cops involved, and it has cops involved. That's about it. And um, so I just think that it didn't take much thought. It's nice that they had actors that could probably shoot this movie quick, and um, the surprising things in it towards the end, like it does get better as it goes. Um, makes this movie a little bit better, and I think that's why I use the words above average, because it is a C-plus movie, and I think the grade online is pretty accurate to what my C-plus is, so we're going to go with that. Thanks a lot, guys. My name is Danny. If you like this or my other videos, try and get some of them to watch. Like and subscribe to my channel if you would. Enjoy movies. Thanks.